and thanks for watching the Moose Scrapper channel. Um, this video is going to be on uh, gold recovery of SIM cards, direct TV cards, and credit cards. Right? Um, so I know that you've probably all seen these at, at some point. Um, a nice big area of gold on these things. Uh, keep in mind that gold layer is extremely thin, so it does take a whole lot uh, to make very little gold. Um, unfortunately, I don't come across a whole lot of this material, so but they all process the same way. Um, credit cards, the ones that have the little gold chip on it, um, direct TV cards with the gold chip, and SIM cards. So, to process this, I am putting what little that I have in a little beaker. Just goes to show how little I get. Now, this I'm not going to get a measurable amount of gold from this, but I'm just going to take whatever foils that I get from this and add it to the rest of my stuff. This video is just basically to show how it's done. Alright, so, uratic acid or hydrochloric acid, 31.45%. You can use other concentrations, um, but depending on if it's higher or lower, it will make a difference on the recovery time. Um, Odor, danger, levels, all kinds of things, variables. Um, I like to use the, um, the green, um, safer muriatic acid. There's less fumes. Um, I can, I've kept these things in my garage and my tools haven't all rusted up, which is nice, which can happen with other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to do this one the right way. Right? So you add acid to water. So in this case, the peroxide would be the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, pour just a little bit, it's way more than I need for those few things. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of hydrochloric to it. Again, that is way more than I need. All right, and I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple of days and see what happens. Those foils should peel right off and holy crap. Yeah, the foil should peel right off, just like using AP on gold fingers. Um, and that's it. So we'll come back in a few days and check on it. All right, so let's check up on these SIM cards that I had soaking in HCl and peroxide. Got rubber gloves on here. All right. Oh no! All the gold's gone. There's no foils anywhere. But all the foils are off of the SIM cards. I actually did this on purpose. Um, it's a very common question that I used to get a lot um, from my earlier recovery videos. So one of the questions I used to get a lot from my earlier recovery videos um, was, you know, they, they would do something like this and then all the gold would disappear and they thought they lost it all. The gold's not gone, it's still in solution. Um, in a situation like this, what, what, what really happens is there's too much acid and peroxide in there and too little gold, so the gold just ends up getting dissolved into solution. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, keep in mind that this was just a very, very tiny amount of, you know, SIM cards and the, the chips from, uh, like, DirecTV smart cards and a credit card. Um, so a small amount like that, had I had, you know, maybe 10 times as much or... If I just use enough solution to cover, well, even then, you know, I would have had to have had a lot more material in there for the foils to stay, you know, floating around. So, no need to worry. Um, if you wanted to get the gold out of that, all you'd have to do is uh, throw in like a chunk of copper or something. The gold would should cement out, uh, but keep in mind that. There's less than 20 SIM cards in there, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of gold. You probably won't even see anything on the bottom. So something like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my stock pot, which is over here. It's that five-gallon bucket that you see down there. That's full of um, all of my other waste chemicals. And what I do is, well, I was putting chunks of iron in it, uh, but the Urban Miner, 
uh, <laughs> helped save me some time uh, from trying to get the copper out once I did that. So now I'm just putting copper in there. So, you know, on the, on the periodic table, copper is, is higher than iron in the reactive metals. So anything, um, if I put a bunch of copper in there, um, pretty much just the precious metals will start to, to drop out of solution once it dissolves. If I put iron in there, then copper would come out and the precious metals, but then I'd have to separate all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm still learning as I go as well. Um, so that's that. So again, for the SIM cards, this process will work fine if you have a whole bunch of them. If you don't, this is what's going to happen. The gold is going to dissolve into solution. Even still, not a big deal. Um, so that's it. So, so another quick thing, I wanted to give a shout out to Scrap Hawk. Make sure you check this kid's channel. Nothing, nothing makes me happier than to see you know, you know, a young person who's not sitting on their butts doing this all day long. So this kid is, he's got his own scrapping channel. He's getting out there making some money. You know, a couple of years ago, I was uh, really impressed by Vaughn Scrapper who was doing the same thing. So make sure you check him out. I'm gonna put a link to his channel um, on the black screen. Um, and I think that's it. So...